Well, it's not on the ballot for this election, but the legalization of marijuana is once again an issue. It was one of the topics this week at the final debate for the candidates for governor, Raphael. And so, Lauren, a recent poll found that a majority of Hoosiers are in favor of marijuana legalization. So I took that question, that issue, to the WRTV Political Insiders. The well, editorial debate did focus on jobs, racial equity, but marijuana also seemed to have been a topic of interest. So is the state ready, Kip, to, to move towards legalizing marijuana for medicinal purposes? Not to get too much further into the weeds about weed, but, um, but I, I, I want to add to, to Megan's point, and that is that there are 30-some states already that do it. So there's a lot of research out there. Uh, marijuana isn't good for you. I don't want anybody to... Uh, be misunderstood for recreational purposes is not necessarily a great thing, but it's no worse than an alcohol. And that's the point, really. People ought to have the freedom to enjoy recreational marijuana like they have the freedom to enjoy recreational alcohol. That's the bottom line. And you can talk about medical statistics about everything. Alcohol is worse for you than marijuana. And also, when you're looking at places who have struggled with the opioid crisis and doling out medications to deal with pain issues, um, you know, from a personal perspective, my wife has Crohn's. They try to give her opi opioids to deal with that. Marijuana would be a, a much safer, um, better way to address pain management for lots of individuals. And, and I think it would be a very positive thing. It is actually something that just is co makes common sense, um, frankly, and, and even Attorney General candidate Jonathan Weinsapple, who's running on the Democrat side, announced this week um, that he is in support of legalizing marijuana and taking those funds and using them for education, for criminal justice reform. Um, I think the fact figure I saw is, is that $170 million could be raised um, just by legalizing and, and taxing it. But this would be a politically popular and probably budget friendly um, thing to do. Uh, however, if you are a conservative of any stripe, uh, we should be following the laws. And I think what has happened here is that Congress um, has failed to create law that uh, would be conducive to this. I mean, the fact is that this stuff is still illegal on the federal level and states that have legalized it are operating on shaky ground and kind of a wink and a nod understanding with the federal government on whether or not they're gonna enforce the laws that are on the books. Thank you so much, our political insiders. Thank you so much. And our Democracy 2020 coverage continues right now on WRTV.com.